CB East has got to be wondering what hit him, and they've got to be still a bit shell-shocked from that 40-8 to eight pasting, as you rightly categorized it last week <laughs> at the hands of Penridge. They're, I think they're certainly saying, this isn't the Norris Town that we've played in the past. Yeah, they've got to be saying that. Well, Grant exploits that connection to Denalfi very quickly, and it's, a, it's something special to watch, those two connect. They're, those two are good friends, and those two have been playing, each other, playing with each other for the last few years, and they're good teammates, both team leaders. Keep it up here. First down and 10, Graham's a single back. Graham hands it off to Booker, it's a fumble. And Eagles retain, Eagles the, ball. retain the ball. Second down and 12. It looked like Graham drew the CB East defenders off sides with that, but they got back in time to hold their positions. Yeah, it kind of looked like they might have still been in the uh, neutral zone. I'm surprised the ref didn't flag that. I didn't see them move back very much. Yeah. Yeah, if the ball is hiked and your helmet is across the, quote, the neutral zone, that's an offsides penalty, and a referee should call that. Yeah, I, I think this crew really wants to let these guys play and let it determine them, let them determine the game, not let the flags do it. Second and 12, single back. Graham drops back to throw. Graham with time. Graham lofts it up too high and out of bounds. Way too high and way too far out for Denalfi. Looked like Russ got hit on that play right as he was about to deliver the ball. I think that might have affected his throw on that play. He's usually a little more accurate yeah. than that. He might overthrow some balls. He's got a cannon for an arm. But he's generally within the area. That one was way off course, so I, I really think that that hit may have knocked that ball out of direction. His line's gonna have to give him a little bit more time. So third and long for the Eagles. I really think Russ is more comfortable in rollout. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be as comfortable in the pocket. So I think that uh, our coaches can probably best utilize him on rollouts and sprint outs. Graham drops oh. back, sets up the screen to Booker. Booker's gonna do this one all on his own. Doesn't have the blocking, does cut it back. Booker's gonna bring it close to the first down. Depends on the spot. That was all Matt Booker. Those oh. last eight yards were just him spinning, determined, not allowing the Patriot defenders to take him down. In fact, if anything, they piled on and just continued to push him forward as he just kept grinding those legs and churning away. He's a tough runner. Maybe there's something to this whole 205 pound business. <laughs> but he's running and he's running hard and he did that one all on his own. Those last eight yards, like you said, Rich, were all him. Well, he may play like a 205 pounder. That's right. Mm -hmm. Weight is an attitude. <laughs> it's all in the attitude. Now here comes the measurement. We're gonna see if Booker's attitude slash weight was enough to carry the Eagles across to the first down. All depends on the spot. Very short. Are they going for Inches. Uh, well, Coach Smith has shown a lot of, uh, of grit and, and wanting to be an aggressive team. I would think based on uh, what we've seen here tonight and in the past games, absolutely. And based on what Russell Graham has done physically so far, just let him sneak it up the middle. I mean, we're talking about the balls on the 35, you know. How many yards are you really going to gain with a punt? Sure, right. you may get lucky enough to pin them inside the 10, but yeah. then again, you may only gain 15 yards by kicking it into the end zone. That's a good point. That's a good point. So as they consider what to do here on fourth and short. Norristown just can't jump here, but I'm betting a sneak. And that's an excellent call there, Mr. Fazzini as Russ surges forward and picks up a yard and a half, giving the Eagles a first down. That was a no-brainer. With Russell Graham's attitude and his willingness to be physical, I frankly think that some of the members of the CB East Patriots are a little intimidated, and it, perhaps they may have wished they kept that tee time for this afternoon, because Graham is hitting hard, and he's taking their prisoners. Well, what I really like is that they went on a quick snap count. Yeah. They didn't allow the defense to set up and those linebackers to really rear back. They got up to the line, and then they just took off, really catching the, the Patriot defenders on their heels. That's right. Catching them off balance. Booker picks up perhaps three on the carry.
Coach Rasheen Lusain and Coach Joe Milligan talking to Graham as he goes out. Nguyen brings him up. Two backs with Davis and 34 Booker. Denalfi and number 11 Mike Good split out wide. They're running the option again. Graham takes it outside. Ooh. Oh. Boy, Russ didn't do Matt any favors there. He, uh, he dumped it off and there was just a sea of CB East defenders there. They just kind of ran right past Russ and, uh, <laughs> and, and swamped Matt, giving him nowhere to go. If you have, <laughs> if you, you know, the, the uh, euphemism or the just slow colloquialism, I guess, throwing somebody under the bus, that's throwing <laughs> someone in front of the train. <laughs> there were four guys I don't think he threw him under the bus tied up. <laughs> he, he did, there was no chance they'd get out of that one. Man, a tough play for the Eagles, and I, I suggested the option earlier. <laughs> But it was about an eight-yard loss, yeah, eight on, yard that loss play. on that play. Third and long, third and 13. Graham coming back the other way. Graham back deep, throws it deep for good. Good is open, but it's thrown a little bit too far A lot outside. of contact downfield on that play. It didn't seem that the defender was looking for the ball, but they really let him get away with it. Yeah, looked a little more like dancing with the stars than good coverage, but... I guess what the referees figured on that play was he was so far out of bounds that there, it was uncatchable. Yeah, that could probably be the case. You hear the Rocky cheer, and any time from the CB East band, and any time I guess the Philadelphia area sports team is involved in an athletic contest, it's inevitable that you're gonna hear Rocky. Fourth down and 14, Eagles are going to punt. It's a pooch punt. Takes an Eagles bounce, picked up by number Eight brought down by number eight for the Eagles, Dan Waller and a host of others. Good coverage. Um, Patriots are going to take it from their own 20. Well, that last drive was uh, was moving along really well, Dave, and it seemed to have stalled once they got the first down. That, uh, that one play really disrupted the rhythm when uh, on the pitch out on the option, and uh, the Eagles weren't able to recover from that one. No, and what you have to do on an option as the quarterback is take the heat. Graham took some of the heat, but he didn't keep the end contained. He didn't keep the end focused on him, so when he put, pitched out the Booker, there's still too many men in front of him. Number five takes the handoff, and there's going to be nothing there. Good play Boy, by the Eagles defense. Great penetration by the defensive line. That fullback and running back are seeing blue shirts two, three yards behind the line. There's just nowhere for him to go on that play. Eagles defensive line is really staying home, and like you said, they're still getting penetration. They're doing both things the defensive line has to do. They're getting in the backfield and they're staying home. Yeah, they're really shooting through the gaps there. There's not much resistance on that CB East offensive line. I, I, if I were the quarterback and running backs, I would be really a little disappointed and probably saying, uh, hey, fellas, uh, you think you could show up for the game? That'll We've started. Up. Yeah, that'll come up at halftime. Well, that was an ugly pass, but effective. Corey Klein is going to be wishing that his offensive line was a little more effective as he took a big time hit to the ribs on that play. It's gonna be third and two. He's lucky he got that one off, and he's lucky he didn't get hurt. Yeah, that was a pickup of 10. It was just not a pretty throw, but again, pretty doesn't always get you to the dance. Remember that game Duck Hunt for Nintendo? <laughs> That's what it kind of reminded me of. It's gonna be third and very short for the CB East Patriots. Yeah, Norristown's really starting to pack it in. They're, uh, they're being very aggressive and just daring CB East to try and get the ball down the field. It's gonna depend on the spot, but it looks from here like they got it. They did. They're not even gonna measure this one. First down Patriots, they run it right up the middle. Short gain. Tough to defend against. You just have, especially in the high school game when your linemen aren't 300 pound behemoths. Uh, Norristown's defensive line is a little bit undersized. That's one of their Achilles heels. So they're going to you're going to be able to get some you're going to be able to get some push on them. The secret is not just letting them penetrate and use their speed. Yeah, they're 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 not tall, but they're very stout. Yeah. They're they're low centers of gravity, so they tend to clog up the line and uh, and the holes and they're hard to move off of the line. 27 Cohen Long picks up a 
nice gain on first down for the Patriots. It's going to bring up second and very short. Defensive line doesn't kind of look like classic defensive ends where they're that long and lean and the big muscle, muscular guys. They're more of the uh, Hollis Thomas type, right. the stout Fire rounder. Yeah, yeah, hard to knock off of the line, hard to knock off of the ball. And second and short for the Patriots. Nowhere, and they're going to lose a couple yards on this play. Going to lose loss of about a yard. That good defensive line play that you talked about. Nice play, Eagles, with 5:56 here to go in the half. Norris down, Eagles seven. Yeah. Central Bucks East Patriots three. Curtis Haley blew that play up. He really shot through between the center and the guard. He's been playing off the nose, and he's really dominating that center. Uh, he got into the backfield again. He was two yards deep in the backfield and just wreaking havoc on any kind of thoughts of running up the middle. Yeah, and Haley's been having a very good season. He's been one of the stalwarts of the Eagles defensive line, and hopefully he'll keep it up here. With third and one, Klein brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Two backs, third and one. Don't go wide on the Eagles defense. That's just dumb. What did you say earlier? You said do not try to take this team laterally, do not try the pitch. You're right. It's, yeah, it's, it's not a great play call there, not with the Eagles team speed on the outside. They really are, are looking for those kind of things. You're better off trying to maybe neutralize Curtis Haley in the middle and, and take on the other guys and, and run a little power football at us and wear us down. However, that's, it's not been real effective for the Patriots, and having done that on the last third and right. short, I'm sure they were thinking that maybe they could pull one off. Here comes the punt. Denofi's going to take this one. Denofi gets away from it. Stay away from it. I thought Denofi was going to return that one, but then when it took that bounce, it's better just to let it go. So the yeah. going to take over a decent field position. Yeah, it, it, he seemed to be having trouble reading it, uh, whether it was going to be longer or shorter. It was kind of an end over end punt, and that made it a little more difficult to read. And as he moved up on the ball, he just couldn't get close enough to field it in the air and decided to back off, making the safe play. Much better to have the ball again than to try to make the super play and fumble it away. Right. You don't want to do that. You can't afford to fumble so deep in your own territory. Graham has backs in the eye. First and 10 for the Eagles. Graham drops back, looking to throw. Nice, safe pass dropped by number 11. Mike Good, you got to hang on to that. Graham threw it hot, but it hit him in the chest. Yeah, that ball was right there. Kind of went through Mike's uh, hands. I uh, guess he was, it was probably uh, a well-thrown ball. He had it right there when Mike turned around. I, I don't know that Mike was necessarily expecting it right away. And sometimes little Eagles receivers have been putting the cart before the horse, looking to run before they have the ball. You got to put it away. Tuck it away nice and safe. Graham's now back in the shotgun. He's been favoring this formation, so we'll see how he fares on second down and 10. Graham takes it in the shotgun. Hand off to Wise. Nothing there. Yeah, the Patriots got good penetration. They got into the backfield. Linebacker looked like he read that play real quick. Jumped in through the line, blew it up before it had a chance to really develop. In the Springford game, Graham was very effective out of the shotgun. But Rich, like you said here, if you're going to run, you're going to do a draw play out of the shotgun. You've got to keep that penetration because you're really setting yourself up for a big loss if, the, if you get, give up penetration on, on the shotgun formation. Yeah, that was kind of a delay draw, and it, it just, there was, the line got back there, the linebacker read the play, and there was nothing doing. So that'll bring up third and long, third and 10 for the Norristown Eagles. Graham under center, single back. Timeout Norristown with three minutes and 29 seconds. Here to go in the first half, Norristown Eagles seven, Central Bucks East Patriots three. We have a really well-paced game. Teams are just moving the ball. There hasn't been a lot of mistakes. There hasn't been a lot of flags. They're just playing smash mouth. I'm going to run it. You're going to run it. And let's see who's going to win this game. Yeah, that's and that's football. That's high school football at its finest. Two teams lining up, going at each other, testing each other's weaknesses, testing each other's strengths, 
keeping the game moving nice and fast paced good clean play not too many flags like you said we've only seen two penalties so far here in the first half and both of them have been procedural and there's been no there's been there's an offsides and uh, um, the false star penalty yeah I wonder if they'll allow Graham to go deep on this play. If, if you're if you're Coach Smith, do you have do you have Graham take another shot downfield to Ellis or Denalfi on this play? I, I think I really would like to see the Eagles spread the field, get get those CB East defenders back on their heels, and maybe bring somebody out on the flat or into an intermediate route, and then let them run for the first down. Play safe. Yeah. You don't want to turn the ball over here. Matt Booker trying to turn the corner, and he just couldn't get there. Nothing doing on a little swing They pass. were reading the screen. They didn't respect the Eagles trying to throw the ball downfield. I don't think Rusk really gave the play a chance to develop on that one. But, hey, it was a safe play. The Eagles don't turn the ball over. They make the uh, Patriots field a punt and uh, try and drive at the length of the field before the half. Right. This, is, this speaks again to the discipline we talk about with this team this year. They're not making the silly mistakes. They're not trying to do too much. They're just playing the game the way it should be played and making the other team beat them instead of beating themselves. I don't know why, if you're a punt returner, you pick that ball up. That was a little bit dangerous play, <laughs> but... He actually got away with it. Picks up five on the return, but that's one of those you stay away from. Yeah, well, he didn't have a lot of blue, sh blue shirts in front of him. There was yeah. really only one defender coming at him, and he figured, I guess he figured he had enough time to pick that ball up, put it away, and shake that defender. And if he could do that, he could make a nice return, which in this case he did. He yes. picked up a nice seven or eight yards on that return. So instead of having it at the 25, the CB East, actually instead of having it at the 35, the CB East Patriots are going to have it at about the 39, 39 there, yard it looks line. like, Dave. 39 yard line. Eagles defense coming out with 3.07 here to go in the half. Klein under center. CB East went with a three wide receiver set on that. They had two s spread out down here towards our side and one up at the end. Looked like they were trying to take a little note out of the uh, Norristown playbook by spreading the field and then using the middle once they have the Eagles defenders spread out. I got to tell you what, Rich, from what I've seen from CBE's passing game so far, I'm going to make Klein try to beat, beat us with his arm. I'm not going to respect the pass so far until he proves to us that we have to. I think the Eagles made a mistake there with respecting the pass a little too much, gave up a nice run on first down. Pass by Klein, incomplete. Oh, no, that's complete, Dave. He bobbled it, he but bobbled he did it, catch it. He did it. catch it. He brought it in. Yes, he did. Seemed to have ricochet off his knee and then bounce right forward like, into his hand. Yeah, it looked like it ricocheted. I mistook the bounce for an, off the knee off for a bounce off the ground. So that is complete. And the CB East Patriots are going to have it at the 40. Seems Coach Brian Kennedy is following along with your philosophy, Dave. They had only a one safety back there. They were running an extra linebacker up in the box against the run. And they put out single press coverage on the wide outs and just a single safety back. Well, he made him pay for it on that play with first and 10 for the Patriots. Here comes the pressure. Intentional, you're not going to call him for intentional grounding no. on that play. No, oh. I don't think so. That's Great a pressure. One. Great pressure, though. Well, the running back was right there. He just tried to Brett Favre yeah. it with an underhand sideways lateral. It was an excellent play by the quarterback, Klein, on there because he avoided a huge loss. The Eagles were chasing him down, and he was a good 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage. That would have been a huge loss. It was a good play call by Coach Smith in the defense, Coach Brian Kennedy on that play to have the blitz coming. Um, if the running back had not been in the area, that would have been intentional grounding, but because he had a receiver nearby, it's second and 10. Klein takes it from the shotgun. Curtis Haley is coming. Curtis Haley bringing pressure this time. Oh, and there's Klein the sack. will be sacked. The pressure from Haley and number 33, Ron McMillan, brings him down. Big time loss. Loss of 10 on the play. It's going to be... 
third and a mile for the CB East Patriots with 135 here to go in the half. Yeah, they got a third and 20 in front of them. You know, they've got to be thinking, all right, let's just be safe with the ball and try and punt it and keep it down in the Norristown end so they don't have a lot of time. I'm expecting a run if, from CBS if East I'm on East this. Here, I do the draw play, like you said. Yeah. If you do the draw play, you don't do anything fancy. You don't put the ball in the air. Now, we've been talking about Curtis Haley all night and the plays that he's making, he, how he's really thoroughly dominating the middle of the field. Curtis has also made a great transformation in the classroom. Seeing a lot of maturity out of Curtis. I've had him all three years that he's been a student at the high school. And this year, his maturity is really shining through. He's taken that step towards really becoming a, a positive member of the Nor Norristown High School community. He's moved from being a class clown to a class leader. And Haley, he's, he's a jokester in class. He's a funny kid, and he's really taken on, like you said, he's really taken on a real serious tone in his studies, and he sees what he's doing out in the field. He's assumed a leadership role for the Norristown Eagles, and Curtis has been doing a great job both on and off the field. So accolades to Curtis and accolades to the entire Norristown Eagles defensive line, the stalwarts of this team. And again, a big play by number 41, Akeem Jones. Akeem, a young man I coached on the freshman football team. Akeem Jones comes in with a big ticket hit and it's gonna be fourth and a mile for the Patriots. Yeah, he really read that play, shut it down in the backfield for a three yard loss. They're looking at a fourth and 23, and uh, the punting team is going to come on. This is a chance for Norristown to really implement their two-minute offense. They're going to be able to spread those Patriots out on defense and see if Russ Graham can hit some players in some seams and let those guys make some big plays. So now, so now, Rich, if you're Coach Smith, you air it out. I mean, you don't play out the first half and you just say, let's let's kneel on it or let's run. You got to go for it. Well, I really want to see where we get the ball on the punt. You know, if, if Alex is able to field a punt and make a somewhat a good return, get them outside of the 20-yard line, yeah, I, I, I think I would take my chances with the passing game and, uh, you know, have Russ spread them out. We send some guys deep and then maybe catch them protecting against those deeper routes and hit some guys underneath. Let them make some yards, get us to midfield, and then see what we can do with going long. Good call and with fourth and 23 to go. Denalfi's back deep for the Norristown Eagles. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with the punt. Do they kick it to him and possibly encourage a big return? Here it is. Here's the punt. Denalfi's going to let this one go. And it's going to be taken at the 22-yard line. Another smart play by Alex. There was a man right in his face. He couldn't really do anything. He might have, in the past, Norristown players that have been back on punt returns would have tried to, to pick that ball up and do something right. with it, and, and then usually da disaster would ensue. Disaster, yeah, fumbles and touchdowns. Fumbles, to and then the other team is taking the ball over on, their 20, on the Eagles' 25-yard line and going in for a quick score before half. So That's Grant, where we talked about the discipline with this year's squad. Graham's taking it from the shotgun. He's got four wide. Looks like they're going for the gusto here. Graham drops back. Graham's going to run it. Oh, he's got Graham's some open got field some in front of him. Good play by Russell Graham. Good call. Going to pick up about eight, seven. seven or eight on the carry. Eagles call their second timeout. Looked like the uh, referees took a little bit of yardage off on that play. I uh, mm. didn't really see it where he went down on the 25. Looked more to me like the 20 or the 32, not mm. the 30. But, hey, they're closer to the play than we are, they're Dave. closer than we are. And Graham's back in the shotgun again on second and two. Graham throws it, has a man. Sheldon Mayer with the ball. He's making of, people miss. He's making people miss Mayer. He's got to get out of bounds. Mayer gets out of bounds, playing it smart, not trying to be Hannibal Smith or Superman, not trying to be a hero, just playing some smart football. Again, Coach Smith doing an excellent job with the play calling. Team spread them out, and then like we had talked about, they found Sheldon Mayer in the seams in the middle of the field, and then Sheldon made things happen by making people miss and taking the ball down the field. 
He also was very smart play, getting out of bounds and stopping the clock, saving that extra Eagles timeout. Now with plenty of time, the Eagles can still go over the middle because they have that timeout. Graham drops back. Graham's got a man, overthrows him just a bit. He had Mayer out in the flat, but he threw it just a tad too high and too hot for him. Seemed Mayer reacted a little late to that ball. I don't know whether he lost it in the lights, but he did react to it. Hit his hands late, his hands coming up late, and the ball then did carry him out of bounds. A catchable ball, a little too high. Could have been, could have made that play. It would have picked up an eight, which would have been nice for the Eagles. But a nice safe play again, Dave. They, they, they roll out. Get it going to Russell Graham's strengths, throwing on the run, hitting a player near the sidelines, and where the only chance of the turnover being nullified by the fact that the ball is on the outside, it's not near a defender, right. and they're playing safe. Second down for the Eagles. Oh. Graham, got to get rid of it. Graham throws it out of bounds. Excellent play by Russ. He was under fire there in the pocket. Saw he didn't have anything. Saw he was under pressure and in danger getting sacked for a loss. And he just unloaded that ball out of bounds where nobody could get it. Yeah, nobody could possibly get it. You're right, Rich. So Graham gets rid of it. Little Ozzy Osbourne cooking up down in the Norristown Eagles pit. The cheerleaders dancing to a little Iron Man. And Eagles Iron Man Russell Graham is going to be back in the shotgun for third and ten. Got to convert here to keep this drive a running. So a false start. Looks like a false start on the Norristown Eagles. We don't need that. Can't be pushing them back. Third down and 15 for the Eagles now. With 40 seconds to go here in the half. They have to get down to the 23 for a first down. Ball on the 38. We're gonna, this is two down territory for them though, so basically let's pick up a nice piece of yardage here, get it into a manageable yard distance where we can open the field up. I think that's what Coach Smith's gotta be thinking right now. And you still have that middle. Picked off. Yeah, ball was overthrown just over the reach of Sheldon Mayer and the safety playing center field back there was able to scoop it up. Ball down on the 12-yard line. Just as good as a punt here, though. Probably better than a punt you would have gotten with yeah. 36 seconds to go. But it would have been nice to have been able to convert, even get a field or, goal out yeah, of it. Yeah, it would have been nice to pick up that three at worst. Again, it seems like when Russ is having a little bit of difficulty. He's throwing it high. He's really yeah. loading up and, and trying to gun the ball, not necessarily uh, trying to finesse it. finesse it. I think that's where his, uh, his only weakness at, at the quarterback position would be, is he really likes to show off that, the strength of that arm. Right. A little happy birthday is going to take us out here in the first half. I think they're playing playing happy birthday in honor of one of our Norristown Eagles cheerleaders. So happy birthday, Melody. Many happy returns. With six seconds, five seconds here to go in the first, East will be content to run out the clock. Maybe. That'll take us to halftime after a nice gain off tackle by number six, Blachunik. And that's the first half here from historic scenic Roosevelt Field. And for Dave Fazzini and Rich Campbell, we'll be back in a second with the halftime show.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Mazzini and Rich Campbell back with you with the halftime show. As the CB East marching band leaves the, leaves the Norristown's Roosevelt Field, we heard a little, can you hear the drums, Fernando? We heard a little of Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley's I Was Made For Loving You, Baby. That was Kiss's foray into disco. And I believe we even heard a little Sousa. Mark might be more standard uh, port of fare for the Sousa for marching bands, but the, the Can You Hear the Drums Fernando bit was nice, a nice homage to the boys and girls from ABBA. But back to football, which is the reason for the season. Rich, Eagles played a good first half, but it's still only 7-3. What's going on? Well, <clears throat> they've had some opportunities, and their drive seemed to stall, uh, basically from a lack of execution. There's been some balls that were a little bit high, a little bit outside, some receivers who dropped some balls. And Darstown just wasn't able to compensate for those plays, and, and they seemed to stall and sit down. 